So this is an update on my uh, post-concussion syndrome. Uh, it is the 12th of August, which is about four months. It was actually the 14th of April. Since I was first injured by a softball to the head, uh, I was coaching Little League, and uh, I took a, a softball to the head. Um, four months have been, feels like a lot longer. Feels like I've been dealing with this for, if you told me that it's been six months, I would believe you. Um, but uh, it has been, it's been very challenging. Um, this week uh, on Monday was one of the first days, actually the second time I felt like myself. Like I had a day that felt like very normal. Didn't have a lot of anxiety, wasn't really fatigued, didn't have a ton of headaches, um, just didn't have any of the cognitive issues and I kind of felt free from it. Uh, and then woke up on Tuesday and felt, hey, you know, keep it rolling, but uh, I went to a soccer game on Tuesday night, and then Wednesday morning I was pretty much toast. Um, I did some uh, vestibular therapy on, on Wednesday, and uh, Thursday I was just sort of a wreck. And here we are Friday, so we're two days later from the vestibular therapy, and, uh, you know, this morning was, you know, white hot heat in my head and, and complete anger over stupid little things. Um, I found some really great support uh, online through the post-concussion support group on Facebook. Um, I would continue to watch uh, Ralph and Lou's podcast, or vlog rather, uh, even though they're, they're not dealing with concussions as much. I guess he's been doing some light therapy, so they have, they've actually had some of that. But uh, you know, as he continues to try to live his life. And at the kind of four-month mark, I think that's sort of the theme is what can I do to live my life? What can I do to have some sort of normalcy? So I feel like myself and I'm out in the world and I'm doing things and maybe doing some work. Um, but I found that, you know, after a couple of really good days, it did not take much for me to just slide sort of back into the fatigue, anxiety, um, uh, pain, headache, uh, fogginess that uh, sort of defines post-concussion syndrome. Um, I've had some really good comments on the first post-concussion support group, uh, or sorry, post-concussion vlog that I did. Um, again, I'm doing these because I know after going through this and reading the support groups, just how horrible this all is and how the, the understanding that people have of it is, is generally poor. Um, there isn't a lot of information out there. And so, you know, uh, I'm just doing this to put my experience out there so people understand what it is that I'm going through and maybe there's some symmetry with them. Um, things that have helped me are uh, cold compresses around my neck or hot compresses or alternating. That seems to kind of bring it down, um, you know, rest, uh, especially I have uh, um, the, the eye patch, you know, with, with kind of hold out eyes so that I can, um, you know, it's not pressing against my face all the time. Uh, and I use that a lot and I try to rest. Uh, but ultimately it seems like at four months, um, it's kind of like a live wire, which perhaps if, if you don't touch it, you're fine. But the second you touch it, it's pa-boom. And for me, that's been the case, uh, especially today. And it nuked, um, you know, a good three quarters of my day. Um, I started off okay, had ended up having kind of a rough morning and then boom, that was it. Sort of, sort of messed my day. Really kind of, I went, I got really angry and, and upset over a, of like a scratch on my car. Um, which is not that bad as I was trying to clean something off of it. And I ended up scratching a little bit, but it really, it really pissed me off. Um, and I think that's sort of part of the post-concussion syndrome is this sense of really a raw wire, you know, just, just easily set off, easily get really frustrated. Um, yeah. So I'm continuing. I appreciate comments that I've gotten. I'm going to continue my vestibular therapy. Uh, which has me, you know, kind of with X's in the in the in the distance, nodding my head up and down and left and right, and then um, some ocular therapy online, which I can link to in the down below here in terms of some of the things that I'm doing. Um, I'm also trying to up my physical activity. I did 10 minutes on a recumbent bite, but that totally kicked my ass. So um, if you're out there uh, dealing with this, hang in there. It is a tough road, uh, and if you're just sort of wanting to know more about this. Um, I really do uh, recommend the post-concussion support group on Facebook as a good place to start. Um, there's some great people there and some really great information about what people are doing. And I, I've cribbed some of that. I mean, I found 
some things that just don't work. Uh, certain supplements people take, like uh, fish oil for me, just didn't really do anything, kind of made me sick. And uh, i trying to think of so many other things. I'm trying some turmeric stuff uh, as, a, as that's supposed to be good. And I'm, I've upped a lot of avocado in my diet and tried to reduce sugar. But it's hard when you're feeling like crap um, to reduce sugar because, you know, it gives you that sort of short-term fix of, ooh, I feel good for a second. So... Well, this is the four-month update, and uh, I'm hoping that the next update that I bring you, uh, I'll be further down the road to recovery on this. Thanks.